Uh, so long, Akim. Uh, I'm out here every weekend, week out. I'm going to sign down for this place called America, wicked place called America. Right? It's like the Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. The true, you're the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks about. Right? And this place, America, man, was designed to destroy you. All right? We're coming here week in, week out, warning you people of the coming destruction of your house. following the ways of the heathen or the ways of this world or the ways of society. And that's what y'all that's what y'all people constantly do. You constantly do what y'all desire. You obey your own thirst. Right? You do what and the, the scriptures say you do more than the wicked you do more than the wicked. Alright, so the most high is coming back with the with the with the fury. Alright, and he's gonna rain hell on this place. And like we've been telling you. And like when I came out here yesterday man, I told you man this place because what you do who celebrated Christmas yesterday, Simon Alia, is going to be killed for it. Alright? The most I gave you orders like, hey, don't do this. And what did you think? You thought it was logical to, to do it anyways. The most I is going to kill you. This is not your rest. It'll never be your rest until we're in the kingdom. Uh, this is uh, Deuteronomy uh, 31 and 16. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, Thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a-whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land. Right, it's like over time, the, the over it's like, um, how we say, your forefathers died, so they weren't able to really, you wouldn't, you wouldn't listen to them. Like the scriptures say, you're, uh, how did it say, you're uh, stiff-necked, stiff -necked, but you're witnesses of them. Oh. All right, like, like that same scripture, that same chapter, I believe, it talks about Moses where he said, uh, that I know that after my departing, you shall only corrupt yourselves. That's what you're doing right here. Uh, Deuteronomy 31 and 16. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers. And, and that sleeping is talking about dying. You're going to die. And you're going to go back to the spirit world. <laughs> and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land. Where did they go to, to be among them? And will forsake me and break my covenant which I had made with them. Yeah. It's because your forefathers, your forefathers are the ones who kept the law. But it got to a point where it started slowly slipping away. Right? The most I tell you, he slowly started taking the law away from you because of this. You wanted to go a whoring. You wanted to go after your own heart's desires. You wanted to do what you wanted to do. Alright? That's what that's how took, uh, that's how uh, that's how Israel's been all the generations. The scriptures told you, man, oh, what Yahweh was saying, even uh, Solomon said, he says, I, I looked under the sun and wondered that there was no intercessor. You people had no guide, so the, the prophets knew you were going to corrupt yourselves. Y'all were like sheep, man. Y'all still are like sheep today, led to the slaughter. You don't know what, you don't have a guide, so y'all just do what y'all want to do. Y'all have no understanding. That's why you got to have men come out and know how it was about it to teach you. That's the only way you can even get right today. Uh, it says Deuteronomy 4 and 26. Uh, start at verse yeah, 26. I call I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that you shall soon utterly perish from off the land where unto you go over you go over Jordan to possess it. You shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and you shall be left few in a number among the heathen. Whether the Lord shall lead you, because what were oh, sorry, because what were you doing? You were, you were murmuring, right? You didn't believe in the Lord. You wanted to do what you, you thought it was better to be in the land of Egypt, where your oppression was over you, giving you hard bondage. It's the same thing going on now. You think that because nothing's really happened to America, so that's evident to show that it's going to be destroyed. You think you think it's still okay to, to go along with the way that they uh, that they celebrate or that they uh, they uh, they acknowledge things. They not your customs. Verse 28. And there ye shall serve gods and work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. But if there thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy power, thou shalt find him, if thou shalt seek with all thy heart and with all thy soul. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, 
even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy power and shall be obedient unto his voice, for the Lord thy God is a merciful God, he will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee nor forget the covenant of thy father which, which he swear unto them. So it's still happening to this very day. It's even, it said even in the latter days. We've been talking, we've been telling you previous lessons that you, you need to seek the seek that creator and not you. That's still happening to this day. The Lord still have a mercy, but only on the elect. And that's the only reason mercy is here. <laughs> Grace and mercy. You people are done, man. You wanted to you wanted to condone this this, uh, this, uh, this uh, holiday yesterday. Alright? You wanted to do whatever atrocious acts you were committing in that time or in that day. You didn't want to take heed to the word. Alright? You wanted to think that we're crazy still. The lot of all you people in Sinatra are still today, y'all still celebrating Christmas yesterday. Saturnalia happened to tell you people that you're still going off, you're still being wicked, and you're still acting the same way, man. Nothing's changing here. Nothing. The word is supposed to, the word is supposed to change you. Alright? The word is supposed to be your comfort, your guide. But look what's going on. Hang on. The scriptures is a stumbling block. So it could be it can be upon you as evil, and it could be upon those that for good. Evil because you're wicked, you're you weren't part of the elect. So either way, it's gonna change you. It exposes you. All right. So whether Saturnalia, Easter, what have you, every day is a wicked, evil day. Yahweh Shai said that himself in what Matthew six. All right. <laughs> At least, no matter what, the light. Yahweh Shai was even in the earth, and people still didn't change. But we still had to. We're still authorized and and, and uh, uh, commanded to come out here and to pre and push this word and prophesy the downfall of America. And to draw in the elect because we're fishers of men, all right, not women, all right, not not uh, uh so-called Americans or so-called Mexicans. We're here for the nation of Israel, all right. Yahshua Allah. I'm gonna go back to Deuteronomy 31 and 17. It says, "Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them." So that they will say in that day, are not these evils come upon us because our God is not among us? And, and that's true. The Most High is not among you. That's why everything is happening the way it is. That's why He declared. That's why He's declared all His prophecies to be fulfilled. He wants. He, he wants you two thirds to be destroyed. Right? You want because you don't want to listen to Him. That's the, that's the point. You don't want to believe that what we're speaking of the scriptures of the words of Yahweh Shemuel Shah are true. Like you continue to think it's a joke. You continue to... They even are... Here's the thing, too. I'm just... Not to stick on that holiday, but they'll tell you the truth about these holidays, man. They tell you this truth over TV. They have a... They had a show, Big Bang Theory, right, with a bunch of homos. But uh, they tell you what Saturnalia is. They tell you, like, it was a, it was a day set up to deceive the people to thinking it was uh, uh, the birth of Jesus. They tell you that, man. Well, it goes deep. It goes deeper than that. It goes back to Semiramis, yeah. Nimrod, and Tammuz, because Tammuz was born on December 25th. All right, and uh, Nimrod was a uh, uh, died and went. He was uh, Baal, which is the sun worship. That's what y'all y'all do the Sunday worship, the Sunday uh, uh, feast, and all that bullshit y'all do in the churches. Y'all, it goes all the way back to those men, Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz. All right, that's who y'all worship. Has nothing to do with uh, the the man of the Bible. That was that. That's the mystery of Babylon. That's that mystery. That mystery doctrine that got the whole world deceived and, and worshiping. All right. And Esau is uh, steadily pushing that whole Babylonian uh, 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 vibe, you know, through the Talmud and all his, his, his wicked ass devices. So Saturnia is just a, just a, uh, a, a, a a branch of what was from the ancient times. All right. It's like uh, Semiramis is known as as uh, uh, Aphrodite. Uh, uh, I believe her name is uh, Ishtar, As Asareth, 
those are all just uh, the queen uh the queen of heaven known as the queen of heaven or the uh, the great goddess uh, uh diana the, the those are all just different uh equivalents to the original uh the origin was semiramis the semiramis and tammuz and nimrod all right adonis all, all, all those different words are go back all the way to uh semiramis the original the originators of this uh pagan uh you know, worship, traditions, and customs of men. All right? But people, but you people, y'all fall short because Esau can put it on the video, on the TV, but he won't give you 100% truth. He always likes to, like to put a little bit out there enough to where he will he'll leave you thinking, but he'll put all his other shit out there to be like, oh, it's, you know what? I'm just going to keep continuing my ways. Esau is, is not a revealer of truth. Esau is the devil. Only the only the men on the hobbies and the bottles are gonna come and give you the hundred percent truth. We're not gonna give you a little bit. We're gonna give you. We're gonna go all the way back to the origins. That's what the elders told us. Always uh, the, uh, the study of words, el the etymology. All right, break down words, pre uh, the, the prefix and the suffixes, because you people, y'all people have a, a short term memory. All right, and it's not just this one. It's not just this one thing. There's many other things that uh, contribute to this whole. Uh, this whole thing that y'all think we're following a, a, a cult. It goes deeper than that, man. It's deeper than just, oh, it's Jesus is not his name. There's a reason why it's being pushed away, it's being pushed to the elders and all the brothers on the four corners of the earth. If you go back in the old times, Moses and, and the, the, the Lord was always being repetitive, constantly repeat, repeating himself, telling him, learn not the ways of the heathen, forsake the land, the, don't follow out the strangers, the, the, the lands of the, the, the strangers, that you into the land you go into, don't fall out to their ways. Because there would be a snare unto you. Alright? And that's exactly what it's become. It's a snare to the inhabitants of the world today. They got people just thinking that, oh well, I'm not worshiping it, but you're still showing honor to it. You're showing your reverence in this day. Like I noticed in people, their spirits get real high. Oh, they want to be happy, friendly, and but then once once that, that that holiday passes, they go straight back to where the, the way they were. That quick. What the fuck is wrong with y'all people? That's fucking crazy. Be be the same all the time. Why are you gonna one day out of the whole year you wanna be all happy and jolly and shit? But the rest of the year you're just being wicked towards your neighbor. But that specific day you wanna be all so-called holy. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is supposed to be your comforter. Yahweh Shai is supposed to be the one that's gonna uh, rejuvenate you and give you that joy that you need here in this hell. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Deuteronomy 31 and 18. It says, and I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have, which shall have wrought. And they and that they are turned unto other gods. And that's what you're doing today. Right? You're turning to other gods because the most side not revealing that truth to you. You're, you're worshiping these gods out of ignorance. Like like when it says in Timothy that you cleave unto these teachers, you cleave unto these gods because your God don't, doesn't want you. He don't want you. He he tells you, man, in uh Jeremiah, like uh what did it say? He said, uh the word like gods. The word like God's without that service, uh, let them rise up. He don't want you. You pollute the Most High's name. You don't. You don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High told you. You don't listen to His warnings, His admonishment. He told you, man. Whenever He told you, like we just read, when He went into another land, don't follow their customs. And what did y'all people do? First thing y'all did, man, y'all start following their ways. Because, like the brother said. Y'all saw that they were ha happy all the time. They were like real happy, all happy at certain times. And then they would all just go, because y'all don't like the, don't like the days that the Most High is appointed? For what? They're there for, they're, that's why he calls them solemn, solemn feasts, solemn assemblies, serious days, uh, serious high days. The Most High doesn't want you to be playing around like y'all do in America. Because look what happens. You're destroyed. Uh, this is Psalms. 106 and 33 because they provoked his spirit so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips 
they did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And you learned their works. You learned how to celebrate their traditions and their customs. And y'all even do it worse. You don't, there's no end to y'all's wickedness. America's gonna be destroyed, man. Christmas is gonna be destroyed. You two thirds are gonna be destroyed. The man who, the men that portray themselves as, as some gods, uh, says our boys, uh, Jesus, right, they're gonna be destroyed. And they're gonna have a shame on them, a, a perpetual shame on them if they're, if they're in the kingdom as slaves. And you two thirds are gonna be ashamed. And they serve their idols which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And that's where this whole mystery Babylon worship comes from. All right, Saturnalia, uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, Christmas. All right, that goes all the way back to the, the Canaanites. Ham, Kush, Nimrod, Semiramis, Tammuz. All right. It says, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. He abhorred his own inheritance. He hated you to the point he wanted to destroy you again. And he is gonna destroy you, but y'all done so much stuff. It's just you have no you have no repentance. You have no mercy on you. You have no grace. Right? It's gotten so bad, man, that the most has to come back with milk with two million ICBM missiles and destroy this place. And he's gotta make you suffer before that too. That's what I was trying to say in the beginning. That you, you think that everything is still good, man. But you're still you're still in your captivity. You're still under your enemy. That's what I was trying to say. You're still in that land. You're still in the. You're not in the. You're not in peace yet. We're not in paradise. We're still serving slavery in the hell that the Most High put on us from the beginning because we didn't want to listen. We still have to serve the so-called white man, and he's still in authority. Uh, Psalms 106 and 41. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. And they that hated them ruled over them. There you go right there. You're still under Esau, man. Esau's still polluting your mind. There's, there's still more, and they're, and they're still making new, more new wicked inventions. They're still coming up with the RFID. They're, they're finding new ways. I don't know if uh, we talked about it before, but there was an uh, 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 article, not an article, but a video, a uh, news report about this new device that you can pickpocket someone without even pickpocketing them anymore. You just, there's like this big, like a little tablet, you just put it up right here next to it, and it steals all their information. Why, why, are you, why are you even creating that stuff? You know? Why are you even creating this, these things? They have, they have, they're putting RFID chips in, and, uh, and, and, uh, I'm not saying to go get one, but they're putting RFID chips in weapons now. So that, it, it, that or not, uh, a sensor that only allows a person who has an RFID chip to shoot off the, to the gun or the weapon, or fire the weapon. You know? It just, you're still under, you're still under Esau. You're still under his rulership, under his wicked rulership. He's still killing you. There's nothing, there's nothing. All these scriptures that we read to y'all, you may, you may not have any time to be able to take a heat to it. Right? And look where you've gotten, look where it's gotten you. You're gonna die now. The most time is gonna kill you with a horrible, with a horrible death. Psalms? Huh? Yeah, Psalms. What's that? Uh, 106. Uh, 106, yeah. verse 41. Yeah. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen, <laughs> and they hated them, and they that hated them ruled over them. And they, well, that's another thing, that they that hated them rule over them. That's what it says, never trust your enemy. Never trust him. There's always wickedness in him. There's always that hate that he had for you from the beginning. It's like today you could get in an argument with the enemy, or no, you get in an argument with someone who really, who really does hate you. And y'all try to, you know, they try to squash it or whatever. 
And y'all say y'all are cool. He's always gonna hate you from there on out. He's always gonna hate you. If you don't live in peace, little bits of time, he's always gonna hate you. He's always gonna run and find a way to where he can get, get his revenge on you. That's how Esau is. He, it's, it tells you in Ezekiel 35 that he had a perpetual hate for you. Yeah, he, he was peaceful at one time. That was that time with, with Jacob. He was at peace with Jacob for that little bit of time. But when Esau died, his children rose up, and what did they do? They, they, in all parts of recorded history, he was there. Esau was there, uh, put a bondage on you people, hurting you, uh, killing you, stealing from you, making y'all slaves. So, so, you don't think the scriptures are true? You don't think that what, you don't think that that's really true? This is Psalm 7, uh, 73, verse 27. For lo, they that they that are far from thee shall perish. <coughs> Thou hast destroyed all them that go whoring from thee. Well, that's what's happening right now, too. The most high is destroying all those that are going to whore from the most high. That's another thing, man. We, we talk about the, the whoredoms of Israel. You're a, you're, a, you're a great whore. You're a big, you're a great whore. Israel is known as a whore today. She takes out all these clips. You look on the internet, you see all these things that you're doing that they don't, that Israel didn't ever used to do. We, I remember when we talked about it a few years back. It was very, it was very rare thing that you would see a, a, a Negro or a Latino streaking. Now you see it all the time. You, can, you see them committing homosexuality. You see them uplifting homosexuality. Which is. It's a lot, man. We're about to get, and that's another thing, uh, what's today? December 26th, you got five more days until 2016. We're already to, we're already to, to, to can't say it. We're already to 2016. We're getting closer, man. And you people are gonna get more and more worse. Uh, this is Mark 7 and 6, uh, verse 5. Then the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with them unwashing hands? He answered and said unto them, What hath the Sias prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honor, honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. See, but you don't even honor the Most High anymore, man. You never did. You're, you're, a, you're, a, you're a disgrace, man. Your very existence. Is a, is a, is a, is is annoying to the Most High. He don't want you two thirds, man. Let his brother. I, I want to say it a lot. You two thirds, because y'all are like shit, man. You constantly, you constantly provoke the Lord to anger all week, every day, 365 days a year, 24/7. You insult the Most High, because the Scriptures tell you in Jeremiah, in Ezekiel, and Isaiah, that says that when the nations walk by you, they hiss at you and they mock you. They're like, this is Israel, that great land, that great city. Your people are, man, your people are an abomination to the most side. You're filled. It's like, I came, I, I, I came out yesterday because, I, I, like I said to the brother, uh, I told I told him, I told y'all a lot, I wanted to, because y'all caused me so much hell and y'all's very existence is just insultants to the most side. I wanted to come out here and just try to ruin y'all's day. I personally wanted to ruin one of y'all's days. Because y'all, y'all constantly do this shit, man. Y'all constantly just are stupid. Sottish man, and I, I I hate you people so much. The Most High hates you people. We can't stand the society that we live in. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's nothing. And y'all people hold it like it's gold. And like the scripture in Isaiah said, y'all lavish gold out of a bag. That's how y'all see America. Y'all take a pile of dirt and y'all make it look like y'all set it up like it's gold. What's the Most High got to do with the people like that? Uh, Mark 7 and 7. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for the doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of the Most High, you hold the tradition of men, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such like things you do. Is, is that Mark? Okay, yeah, we can keep it going. And he said unto them, Full well you reject the, mo uh, the commandment of the Most High, that you may keep your own tradition. See, it says you fully well reject the law of the Most High. You don't even think about what you're doing is wrong anymore. You, you don't even think that what we're telling you. First of all, what the scriptures tell you, man, that a man who perverts the gospel 
has to pay an incredible price for it. He's, got, he's gonna be recompensed horribly if he perverts the gospel. Why do you think we're coming out here on purpose and the form of the firmness that we come in where it, where it actually does grab a lot of attention? We do grab a lot of God's attention. Why do you think we're coming out like that on purpose? We were given a duty to tell you people that what you're doing is wicked, that you're living lives, and that you're telling lies, and that you're, you yourself are evil. Who wants to come out here and tell you the, who wants to come out here to basically to die, all right, have death on death on them for these people, who wants to do that? I'm not saying we don't enjoy it or that we don't do it against our will, because we do this willfully with the most high, all right? But I'm just saying, who wants to do that? I, 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 well, you, we know you people don't want to, but we're telling you the truth. But you still fool or reject the law, but you may keep your own. You want, you want to keep America's traditions. You want to keep on celebrating Christmas, uh -uh, uh -uh, Black Friday, Easter, uh -uh, Halloween, Valentine's. Uh, verse 10, for Moses said, honor thy father and thy mother. And whoso curse his father or mother, let him die the death. But let him die the death. That's why all you people are going to be destroyed, tortured. That's why you're going to get a uh, missile. That's why you're going to be destroyed by nuclear warfare. That's why you're going to have people rob your house, steal your car maybe, steal that beloved car that you're paying monthly payments of for walks just so they can take it off to another city to get out of here. You're going to get, you're gonna, your own worst fears are going to be put upon you. But you say, if a man shall say to his father or mother, it is Corban, that it is it is to say a gift, but whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. And ye, ye suffer him no more to, to do aught for his father or his mother. Right, you, 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 you try to be exempt for the judgment that's coming. Making the word of God of none effect through your tradition, which ye have delivered, and many such like things do ye. And many such like things do ye. There's, a, there's many more things that you do. The scriptures say that the wicked do the, the wicked uh, uh, do their counsel in the, in the dark. So there's some more stuff that y'all do. We know. Guarantee you a bunch of adultery went on yesterday. Guarantee you a bunch of kids got disappointed. Guarantee you people were dying. Guarantee, guarantee you one of the images of Jesus that y'all put up probably burned down. But it's still coming. You can't make the you can't make the most high of no effect. No matter what you try to do in America, the, 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 the judgment that's been set down on this is still gonna happen. He's in the heavens. There's no there's no ordinance from Esau in the heavens. The most high rules that. Uh, this is Colossians 2 and 8. Uh, beware at least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. <laughs> These things that you do are not after Christ. Your actions, and I'm not even speaking about the holidays anymore. I'm just saying in general, like we always speak. Your actions prove that you're not of the you're not of the scriptures. You're not of this word. You're not of the Most High. You don't serve Him. All right, the scriptures, the scriptures try you without you even knowing it today, and you're revealed in, a, in an instant. We know it's not under Christ. We know the rudiments of this world are not under Christ. The scriptures say that the world is enmity with the Most High. Y'all are all enemies of Yahweh Bashan al Shai. The only ones who are not is the elect, the ones who come out here on the highways and byways preaching the truth still. All right? More willing, they're the elect. The one and the hundred and the, and the two thirds, oh, not the two thirds, the one third, I'm sorry. Only they can receive this truth. Only they are, it's, the scriptures tell you that uh, in uh, Luke and Matthew, that if it were possible, these, the, the, these deceptions could deceive the very elect. But it's that, and that's why I say, if it were possible, because it's not. Well, uh, uh, but, uh, but only the elect are going to be the ones who are not going to be deceived by these, by these things. Don't you know, man? Like 
I said from the beginning, we're still here. We're still here in captivity. This is uh, Sirach 13 to 13. Observe and take good heed. 